Okay, well today I'm going to roast and then can some of my green peppers. And there are numerous ways apparently of doing these and this is the first time I've done them so uh, I don't know what method is the correct, but I think I want to, rather than doing them whole, I think I want to clean them and then roast them. Uh, you can do it the other way as well, where you um, roast them whole and then clean them. Um, but uh, at that point, it, it's another work. I mean, at this point, I still have to clean the skin off after they're roasted, but I think that should be uh, a fairly simple job at that point. So, what I'm doing right now is that I am coring them. I'm cutting them in half, coring them, uh, taking the seeds out, and uh, I've got the broiler on because I don't have access to doing these on an open flame, which is another way to do them. So I'm doing them in my oven. <clears throat> and after that, we'll probably have to pressure can these as much as I would rather prefer just a water bath can. I really do not want to um, add vinegar and change the flavor. I just want the roasted pepper flavor. And then this could be used uh, in sandwiches or as a side dish. And uh, they, they're awesome, actually, roasted. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping these would turn red, but there didn't seem to be enough time left in the season for that, so I did pick them green. Next year, I may grow shepherd peppers as opposed to bell peppers, which I believe always turn red. I may be wrong there as well, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the process. As you can see, I'm cutting them in half, laying them on a baking sheet with um, on top of parchment paper and uh, when they are blackened from being under the grill then we just have to find a way to uh, steam them in order to peel because you don't want the peel. So this, this seems to be going smoothly enough so far. I have no idea what it'll be like when we try to peel them though. It might be a difficult process or it might be easy. And I believe it's kind of sealed them. Well these are gorgeous, crisp, beautiful peppers. I've never seen anything this nice in the grocery store. Now that one does have a bit of a fly in it so we'll put it aside and uh, we'll use it for cooking so I can cut out that little bit. Okay, I'll get back to you when these are um, at least ready to go in the oven. Okay, well I have two trays of baking sheets ready to go into the oven and they're going under the broiler and I will just have to keep a very close eye on them. We want them blackened if we can, close to it anyway, uh, so that uh, the skin will come off easily. See what happens. Okay, I'm loading up the second batch here. And yes, I do have some smaller peppers. I don't know why I bothered to pick them, but could have got them a little longer. But since we have them, we'll do them. And uh, get this batch going as well. Now the trick with the steaming the skin off is to be patient and allow it to loosen up. And uh, we're going to do that. Let's try to be as patient as possible and just leave it alone. So. Tray number two, here.
Okay, looks like we can put a couple more here. I still have another bag of them to do. This is not even half of them. But we'll start off with this load first. enough for it to go into the oven again. Okay now for the hard part. Hopefully this works and what we want to do now is just peel all the skin off. Well that wasn't too bad at all. Hopefully they all come off that easily. Well definitely where it was roasted good it came off. So perhaps I have to roast them a little bit longer. Because what you don't want to do is leave the skin there. And you see where it's not cooked as well? The skin sticks. No, it's not absolutely necessary that you get every little bit off, but it is better. Okay. So there, as you can see where it's roasted, the skin just peels off beautifully. Perfect. Now once these are all cleaned off, we will put them in jars and probably pressure can them. Because I don't want to add vinegar, I don't want to change the flavor. As you can see it is the roasting that I may cut these in quarters next time just to give the uh, the burner a chance to get the edges cleaned off as well. Rather than just in halves like this. But yes, not bad. this is done as well. All right, first batch is peeled. Looks wonderful and I think I'm going to cut them in quarters so that the edges don't stick this time so that they can roast as well. And I, I'm going to do the, the all of them. They're it's going successfully enough. I've got that one peeled. I've got the next batch steaming. So while this is steaming, I'm going to cut up some more and uh, keep going. Great. Okay, well I've ended up with a bowl and a half or two bowls, depending on your perspective, uh, of peeled green peppers and that's almost a whole bushel. I've got a few left to peel but not many so that'll probably fill this up a little bit more but that's it and after that I'm going to put them in pint jars okay I have finally roasted and peeled all of the 
green peppers. I have added one garlic clove and one hot pepper to the bottom of each jar. And now I'm filling them up with the peeled peppers. And I may still need more jars than this, but we'll see what I have when these are done. Yeah, I suspect I will need more jars. But when you consider that this was a bushel, a bushel, less a few that we had for dinner last night and a few that I left fresh in the fridge for uh, the next few days, doesn't seem to be an awful lot here. We do want to leave one inch headspace. We will be adding a teaspoon of salt to each jar, as well as some water. I think one more jar will do it. Oh, perhaps not. Perhaps I can just continue to fill these up until they're full. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve jars. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to every jar. Okay, so all that's left to do is to clean the rims with vinegar, put a seal and, a, and a, a ring on, and put them in my pressure canner. Okay, now I'm going to fill these up with water.
and remove the air. As you can see, there's at least an inch head space there. This one needs more water. That one could use a bit more. Use a bit more. It's fine. It's fine. And now we clean with vinegar again. Okay, in the canner with three quarts of water, and it's cool water because it was cool water that went into the jars. And so we're just going to heat things up slowly and cool them slowly to, uh, to avoid siphoning. So three quarts of water and a splash of vinegar. And I believe we processed for 35 minutes. I will double check that though. Okay, so a bushel full of peppers, netted out to be a dozen jars. Uh, uh, roasted green peppers and uh, yeah they did lose a little bit of water in the or I suspect that the peppers absorbed a bit of the water but they're fine everything sealed very well now these could have been frozen as well okay that's my video hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one